Okay, first off, I am so, so sorry that you are feeling so overwhelmed and stressed on planning your wedding day. Likely, you probably have never planned a wedding before, so don't feel alone in this process. Many, many times the brides are having a full-time job or they're going to school and whatnot. And whatever your situation is, please don't be so hard on yourself as this is new to a lot of you guys. Tip number one is learn how to say no. Planning your wedding is one of the most exciting but also busiest times of your life. Like I've said before, if you're a full-time student or you have a full-time job, planning a wedding is already Ready a full-time job as is so you dabbling on this process can be even harder now before your big day approaches make sure to prioritize your commitments especially if planning your wedding is one of them then you have to learn to say no to the things that don't serve you essentially you are on a time crunch so likely it is a-okay for you to say no to things just in this moment of time you have a certain timeline that you need to get done because whether you like it or not the wedding day is coming. Number two is get organized. Now, if you do not have a planner, the best thing that you can do is go old school and have a binder with different tabs that talk about your venue, that talk about the wedding party, that talk about the reception, the food, all of those different categories. So that way you have that control of having in the contracts, having in Excel sheets and spreadsheets of things that that are really, really important and even to-do lists. Number three is talk it out. With your fiance, you guys need to make sure you're on the same page with communicating. Sometimes there can be a little toughs, I guess you would call it, with family members who want certain things in the wedding that you don't agree with or that your fiance doesn't agree with. And so it's really important to talk with your fiance about certain things that are bothering you so that way you guys can come to agreement on certain things that are really, really important for it and other things that you really don't care about. Number four is your health. I mean that physically and mentally. Physically, you should get up and get out and go for a walk. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Just go explore nature. Take the time out to breathe and get some fresh air. Or if you're a fitness junkie, then go to the gym or do an at-home workout. A lot of people actually de-stress by working out. It could work for you as well. Especially if you already work out, then you already know that. Maybe take a hike and all of those things and you're an adventurous, outdoorsy person, then great. Do something that makes you feel happy. And on top of you feeling happy, take care of your mental health. We're not just talking about physical health, mental health. Self-care is so important. You cannot take care of other things before you take care of yourself. So until you're good here, then you can be able to do good out there. Take a long nice shower or draw a bath and read a great book. You can even do some type of gratitude journal and write down the things that you're grateful for. What are certain processes in planning your wedding that happened where you are so grateful for them? Maybe you were able to find your dress. Maybe you were so thankful for your fiance. Maybe you're so thankful for certain family members. Maybe you are just so thankful that you have enough time to plan it and you were able to postpone it or something. There are certain little positive things within a negative aspect. You can also do a facial, go professionally to get a massage. When you de-stress, you feel so much better and it can be a really nice excuse to go to the spa. I'm just saying. All right, so now that we're releasing tension in our shoulders, the fifth and final tip is to delegate tasks. Now, whether you are going to trust and delegate tasks to certain, you know, friends of yours or people that you know wouldn't mind being able to handle certain things, especially your fiance, he or she should be able to help you in this process because they're the ones also getting married too. Or if that isn't an option, <laughs> then you should look into hiring a wedding planner. Obviously, I might be biased, but in my opinion, very helpful with planning your wedding because it's your day and you do not want to feel stressed, especially on the day of your wedding. So if you're already stressed right now, I would highly consider looking into event planners to be able to help you. I hope these tips gave you better insight on how you can be able to plan your day without feeling so overwhelmed and stressed. And if it did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like it, subscribe it, and comment below which one's your favorite. Or if you found better ways, then be sure to comment below so that way the person who's watching this and looks at the comments can see it and be like, that is genius.
Now, if you have a friend who you know is probably going through the same thing, share it with him or her. I'm pretty sure they will appreciate it. I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.